Hi, boys and girls, it's me, Ms. Sotos. Welcome to the reading room. I know this looks a little different today, um, but um, I thought we could change it up a little bit. So we have been reading these past weeks. I've been reading to you and we've been learning about characters and we've been learning about the settings and making predictions together and reading fun books and good books and how to take care of books and how to look at the pictures to get an idea of what's going on in the story. Um, but today, you are gonna help me read the words. That's right, you are gonna help me read the words in the story. And that's why I'm kind of right here. I'm gonna be actually in the story, helping you do it, okay? So our first strategy, our first reading strategy, and strategy is a big word. It's like a skill or a plan to help us achieve our goal of being better readers. So our first reading strategy is eagle eye. Now, Eagles have excellent eyesight, okay? So we are gonna be using our eagle eyes today to look at the pictures and help us make sense of the words. So here's our poster, eagle eye, look at the picture, okay? We gotta have our eagle eyes, you got them, you got them in, you got them ready? Okay. Now our new friend eagle eye loves to look really closely at the pictures on the page. This helps him find clues on how to read the word. There I am. Ah. Eagle Eye teaches us to look at the pictures closely to see if we can figure out the words in our story. We look at the drawings and the pictures and ask ourselves, does it make sense? Now, that reminds me of writing in Miss Bavona's writing room, what she's been teaching us. She just started teaching us about the five star rule for writing. And I believe the does it make sense star is the four star. Just like in writing that goes with the reading, right? You wanna see, you're gonna look at the pictures and see, okay, I'm gonna read this sentence. Does it make sense? Do these words match these pictures? Just like we are doing as authors and illustrators. It's the same for reading, okay? So you're gonna help me on the next page. You're gonna help me look at the picture and we're gonna figure out what that word could be, okay? And we have to think, does it make sense? Okay. So look at the picture and say, does it make sense? Right away, I'm looking right here. I'm like, huh, ah, that's a cute monkey. This word must be Monkey, yeah, that makes sense. This word's not gonna say giraffe or burrito. No, that is a monkey, okay? It's a cute little monkey with a banana. That word is monkey. I looked at the picture and I looked at the word and I made, and it does make sense. Oh, I bet some of you might've screamed, the pigeon, the pigeon, yes, here's the pigeon. And that word right there, pigeon. That's, that's what makes sense. I looked at the word, I looked at the picture and it helped us give us a clue of what that word could be, pigeon. Now, I'm pretty sure this doesn't say pizza or duckling or Mrs. Aubrey, right? No, that says this is the pigeon and that makes sense. That word is pigeon. Okay, do you think you got the idea? You can have your eagle eyes in, you can look at the pictures and help me figure out what these words are in the story. Okay, because we're gonna read a story Remember, I'm in it. Ah! So it's called Piggy's Bath, okay? Here's Piggy. Now it's not the same Piggy as Piggy and Gerald. This is a totally different author, different character, okay? I think Piggy, this Piggy is just as silly as the other Piggy, but it's not the same. So you're gonna help me read the words, but we're gonna have our eagle's eyes in to look at the pictures to help us give us clues. And we have to think, does it make sense? So let's see, Piggy's Bath. Okay, and I blocked it off right here so we didn't get, we have to think first. So I'm looking at the picture. Oh, there's Piggy and it said Piggy's bath. So I'm guessing he's getting ready for a bath. So it says Piggy gets a, hmm. What do you think Piggy's getting? What do you think he's grabbing from his, I guess, bath toys? Do you think it's a boat or a ship? I think, I think it's a boat, let's see. Piggy gets, Piggy gets a b there's a bee, boat, there it is. Woo, good job. Okay, thanks Eagle Eyes. We are seeing, we're looking at the pictures and we're making sense of these words. So Piggy gets a boat, okay. Hmm, okay, so we already has the boat. Now I'm looking at this picture here. Piggy gets, so Piggy gets a, um, I'm thinking since it's a bath, it's probably a, like a rubber duck, maybe a duck, right? Right, it's not Piggy gets a, that, 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 that's a duck, right? Yeah, so let's see. Piggy gets a, oh, we are right. Piggy gets a duck. And does it make sense? Yes. Now, if I read that as Piggy gets a d dog, 
Does that make sense? Is there a dog in that picture? No, I was close though with the D, but I have to look at the picture to make sense. Piggy gets a duck. All right. Oh, he's got a lot in his hands right now. Oh, I, hey, I'm in the book. Anyway, so Piggy gets a, okay, so here he has the duck in the boat. Now what's he getting? Yeah, a ball. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Piggy gets a ball. Yeah. Oh, he's got a ball in the bathtub. Hope he doesn't go crazy about that. Okay. Let's see what else he's going to get. Oh, he's reaching. Okay. He can still fit in his hands. He's got, he's reaching for, hmm, maybe that's like, do you ever like play in the bathtub and you kind of scoop the water and you throw it out? So maybe it's like a cup of some sort. Let's see. Piggy gets a cup. Good job. Piggy gets a cup. I match the words, words with the picture there. Yep. Wonder if he's going to get like a towel next. Oh, okay. So he didn't get the towel. I was looking at the pictures. I had my eagle eye and I thought he was going to get the towel. It looks like he's reaching for, what is that? What do you think he's reaching for? Is he reaching for a banana? Mm -mm. Is he reaching for a cat? No. He's reaching for goggles. Yeah. So Piggy gets, I'm hoping it's goggles under there because that would make sense. Goggles. Nice. So Piggy gets goggles. Let's see what else happens next. Oh, what's he doing? Okay, so it looks like he's got his toys in there. So he's got everything he needs. He's got his goggles on. He's got the boat in there, the duck, the ball's probably in there, the cup's in there. So let's read. So it says, Piggy gets, ooh, in's a sight word, in the, it's also a sight word, so I know that. Piggy gets in the bathtub. You're right, he's getting in the bathtub. Let's see. Oh, there's no, I wonder what he's doing here. Making a mess? I don't know what he's doing. What happens when you like, the water comes out of the tub? Let's see, I wonder what that word can be. Splash, there it is, splash, that's right. He is making a splash out of his bathtub, splash. Oh, here's the other character. So hmm, what is dad doing here? If I'm looking at the picture, Oh, he's got a mop. Yeah, he's mopping up the water that his son made. This is splash. So here's, now it's not Piggy anymore. I have to keep a close eye on that because there's a new character in the story and that's dad. So dad gets a, what'd he get? Yeah, a mop. Okay, so let's see. Yes, dad gets a mop. <laughs> the end. That was it. That was it for our short little story. Okay, so when you are reading, okay, um, make sure you use your eagle eye, okay? And think, does it make sense? I looked at the picture, that's what's in the picture. Now, when I'm reading the word, does that make sense? Does it go together? And you will, you will be a great reader, okay? So remember, first graders, when you look at the picture with your eagle eyes, it's very important to ask yourself if the word you use makes sense in the sentence and to see if it matches the picture on the page. If not, try again. Now, do you remember yesterday when I said to, I told you about Raz Kids? Now, if you're at home, you can go into Raz Kids and there's books on your level. And I want you to try doing, I wanna try use the reading strategy, that's a big word, strategy, eagle eye, to help you read your stories that are on your level. If you're in school, maybe you can read from your book box and you can try reading those books. Now, don't just flip through the pages. I want you trying to read the words. Try to look at the pictures and look at the word and see if it makes sense, okay? And then tomorrow, oh, not tomorrow, because it's tomorrow, so it's Wednesday. On Thursday, we're gonna do another reading strategy. I think it's called Lips the Fish, all right? So hope you have a great day. Have your eagle eyes out when you're reading, all right? And bye, readers. I can't believe I was in the story today, bye.